So this is one of the new features um, that I've seen on the DJI drone in the latest update. And it's something called Terrain Follow. And this can be done in manual mode. Now what I'll do here is I'll click on the three dots and I'll click Terrain Follow. You'll see up in the left hand corner, it gives me an, an above ground level distance of where I want the aircraft to be on top of trees, or flat landscape fields and we want to keep a distance let's say of 47 meters well, i'm just going to take that down again just a little bit and i'll take that down to 30 meters that's the minimum that you can go now the interesting thing about the terrain follow is it follows the terrain as the aircraft flies so you'll see in the bottom right hand i'm actually 54 meters above the ground but the terrain is taking into account the height of the trees or buildings. So if you are doing an inspection or flying somewhere where you don't want the aircraft to go too low and you want to keep that extra separation, then this is a really good uh, function to have. So you see I've got 54 metres and if I click on the down arrow for the visual sensors, you'll see that It's a nice bit of open field there. But as we go over the trees, what you'll find is that the altitude will change in the bottom right-hand corner next to the compass. So I'm just going to move the aircraft forward slightly, and we'll see it's at 50 metres. Then as we go over the trees, it automatically starts to climb. So we're getting ourselves at 54 metres now, 52. Now it's coming back down again, 49, 48, because we are actually over open field on the ground there. Then as we go over the trees, you'll see that we climb again. So it's 49 and now we're over the trees and we're getting ourselves back up now. 51, 52, 53, 54. And it's going to give us that separation. However, if you do use the down stick, so the left hand stick in my case, the aircraft will go below that um, 30 metres. So... If I come down here and I take myself down, you'll see we go from 50 meters and then we're going to go down even further and it will take ourselves down below 30 meters. All right. So really the terrain follow is just simply for when you're flying back and forth. So again, I'm flying back and the aircraft itself is rising up so that it can keep that 30 meter separation. There we go. So it's coming back now. It's giving us that 30 meter separation over the trees. And now it's going to come back over here, slightly come back down again. But then as it goes over the trees behind me, what you'll find is that the aircraft again climbs up. It's a pretty cool feature really, but you just have to be aware of what it can and can't do. A new added feature that has been added is the AI threshold manipulation. So when you click on the AI button, you can click on the little spindle wheel and you can adjust the threshold of the AI detection for the subject count or the subject search area. So if you're searching for people or for vehicles, you are able to move the slider from sort of zero confidence up to 100 confidence what you'll find is that the higher the confidence level it may reduce the number of ai detections that it has what does happen sometimes and i found out here is that umbrellas that are unfurled do sometimes detect as people. So that's when you would increase the threshold to sort of 70, 80% so that it doesn't detect them as people. Vehicles are a lot easier and you can just use the, the normal default. But I would suggest that in any sort of situation that you're working, you slightly adjust the threshold, test and adjust, see how it operates and then readjust as necessary. This is a really useful safety feature add-on. Here I've um, expanded the map 
the red arrow is pointing towards an aircraft that is flying near where I am flying my drone. So the aircraft has a red arrow pointing towards it and the blue circle is around my drone. So here on the map, it's telling me that the aircraft is about four kilometers away from me. It's traveling over 300 meters higher than I am. And the direction of travel was where that arrow was pointing. And that was saying to the north. And this is a really useful feature. So if you do hear the propellers of a helicopter or a plane, and you don't quite know where it might be, it could be that when you open the map, the details of the aircraft are then displayed on the map because it is emitting the certain signals that our drone can pick up. I've selected the annotation tool to try and measure from the aircraft to the airfield. And we have almost dead on seven kilometers. So the drone is seven kilometers away from the airfield. And it really is got a fantastic zoom that can pick up a lot of detail at that distance. As you see here, we've got cars. It's a bit hazy because of the weather. It's nice and warm. So you've got some ground evaporation. And here you've got a tractor. And actually, you can see the silver bits on the back rotating. That's because it's Monday and it is grass cutting day. And then as we zoom back out again from the full zoom, you can see the extent to which the Matrice 4E can zoom. And it really is fantastic.